Hi folks, Ross the One-Legged Miner here, topside today. Got a little mine dog story I figure y'all appreciate because everybody wants to talk about the mine dogs or ask about the mine dogs anyway. You know, I've got Meredith, a little three-legger out here, and Cleopatra, the year-old pup. And sometimes they really get on my last nerve, especially Cleopatra. Take the other day, for example. Cleo was out in the desert hunting lizards, and I was calling her back because it was dark and I needed her back in before dark. Coyotes come around. Well, Cleo decided not to come back. So she was out there having fun, lizard hunting, digging, ignoring me. So I got in my 4x4 and went off to get her. And the way I do that is I'll drive up past the dog and just keep going like I'm leaving him behind. And the dog will immediately start chasing after me, figuring she's, she's going to miss out on something. She's getting left. I'll run her for a little bit, then I'll stop. She gets right in, figures she, she forgets who's chasing who. And uh, by the time I stop and open the door, she figures, yeah, she's one. She gets in the car. I bring her back home, give her a treat. We're all good. Well, this time I try to catch Cleo and she wasn't having any of that. In fact, she just kept running along ahead of me and next to me. And every time I'd stop, she'd just keep running. And got a nice little clip of her doing that here. So I'll let you enjoy my frustration. Here's Cleo. Ain't she annoying? The little girl ran me for about a mile there. So that's her running full speed through the desert for about a mile by the time I finally got her in the vehicle. By my speedometer, she was doing about 15 miles an hour. So she was making a pretty good clip. And again, she could have gone anywhere in the desert, but she wants to stick right along that road because this is fun for her and she doesn't want to get too far away from me. But I got her all corralled up, brought her in. She's all panting, looking proud of herself. I bring her back up here to the camp, get her out, give her her dinner. She goes over and eats her food, drinks the water, and then immediately trots off again like she just didn't have a mile marathon run in the hot sun. And I try to call her back because I know where she's going, but it's Cleo, and she's got her own uh, mind. So here she goes. Cleo, Patra, come back here. Cleo, come. Cleo, come. Cleo. Cleo! Oh, that dog. So, of course, I'm back in the truck again, and I'm chasing her up the desert road, trying to get her back, because it's, it's getting dark. You can see i got a beautiful sunset off in the background there. And I really need her back in. Plus, she's already worn out, but she's just staying right up there ahead of me, not even letting me get close to her. She's dropping off to the side of the road where I, I can't cut her off with the truck, but she's also not leaving my sight because she knows if she gets out of sight, I'll stop. So... By this time, it's pretty clear she's just messing with me. This is Cleo playing Cleo games, and she wants me to be a participant. And I got a real say in the matter if I want this damn dog back. So, again, I chase her like this for a bit, and we go on for you know, quite some time. Another three-quarter of a mile run. Just look at her go. She's down about 10 miles an hour now, but she's still keeping up a clip, and I'm not getting anywhere near her. I cannot catch his damn dog. Cleo, go this way, come on. Right enough off road, I can't get her now. Come on, Cleo, let's go! Come here! Oh, I hate that dog. I can't get her down there and she knows it. Get a dog, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No stress. Yeah. Whoever said that obviously hadn't met Cleopatra. 
Well, she's not vexing me like she did there. She's taunting her sister Merida, like you'll see here. And here we go right now. Poor Merida is just trying to lay in the sun and you know, soak up some rays and Cleo just pester, pester, pester. It's the difference between an eight-year-old dog and a one-year-old dog. But Cleo's got to be careful here because if she really ticks Merida off, and she will eventually, you know, Merida's going to clean her clock. That little three-legger don't play. But until she does... Cleo's just gonna have the time of her life uh, messing with her, just like she messes with me. <laughs> what was it my mom used to say? One of these days, I hope you grow up and have kids just like you. Yeah, hoping that for Cleo one of these days because yeah, she's got it coming. If you two fall down that mine shaft, you live down there. See you, folks. <laughs> and that's my life right there. Mine dogs, the joys and the aggravations. But to be honest, I'm glad I have them here. Meredith and Cleo are pretty good friends and good companions. And when they're not uh, making me tear my hair out, what's left of it, they're a really good company to have out here. And much as I threatened to sell them to the Chinese restaurant, I don't think I'd trade either of them. Don't tell Cleo I said that. Until next time, folks.